hello there YouTube and welcome to a 36 degree Thursday the 19th of January. Love these peaceful mornings. Uh, the sharp cold temperatures, fog in the hills, a little blue in the sky, sun sitting right there already. Last night even though it was cloudy, it wasn't raining a bunch. There was, you could see very slight, but there was twilight. You could make out the landscape. There's enough light at almost six o'clock. Love it that you can see the day's getting longer already. Kelly and I were talking about those nice warm days and having enough time. If you wanted to, you can go for a ride after work. But then we're talking about, you know, it's, that's the busiest time of the year. It's hot. <laughs> you get home and go, I oh, will do it tomorrow. You know, the classic human condition, I guess, huh? But anyway, it's a beautiful morning so far. No idea what the weather's supposed to be. I didn't even look. But uh, it's nice at the moment. We'll take it. Well, it's not raining. But I don't know if that's a high fog layer, but it got darker as we were coming to work. I know. I think it's a high fog layer. Yeah. So everything seems to be dry. Anyway. I haven't paid attention to weather. I don't, don't even know. <laughs> I mean, I haven't opened up a weather app. I just don't even look. Yeah, it's just kind of partly cloudy, partly sunny today oh. and tomorrow. It's Not cold. real warm though. High of forty-five. Oh yeah, it was cold last night. It's below freezing, but yeah. it kind of warmed. The, I think the clouds started coming yeah. in. It, by the time we got up, it was warmer than uh, when we were saying the goodbye last night. I know. But mama. Yes, I it is Thursday. It We're getting is. closer to that weekend. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll have some nice days. Yeah. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Yeah, nice but cold. Yeah. I'd rather be cold and be nice. I just yeah. like the beauty of it all. Yeah, I hate being wet. Yeah. All right. All right. Shall we start it off? Sounds like a plan. All right, let's get her done. All right. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. This is the one I had in here that. I mean, it's almost like it's brand new. And it, it failed the test for the Guardian shaft. Well, there's the new shaft. So we're replacing that. I don't think I put the new, bolt, all the bolts that replaced, that you replace as part of that, but I can't find them. I know I didn't put them in because I knew I was gonna take it back apart again to put the new shaft in it. And that battery charger, remember I was questioning at one point. Where, oh, hold on. It's got the customer's name on there. But he brought in, he got this at, from eBay used or something. And uh, he was questioning whether it was working. And uh, I was questioning whether it was working. Anyway, I got it in the mode and it was charging. But the batteries, it's showing, um, it says good battery. Voltage is good, charge is 100%, health is probably 65, 70%. That's, uh, that's good, she'll roll. So I did a quick battery test on that because it's been sitting over there in the back hole for quite a while. I got the cutest little thing coming in today. I, I got some more, another pack of those uh, uh, Deans to XT60 or TX, I think it's XT60 connectors, the little yellow ones the little adapter things and uh i see this little trailer hitch thing it is the cutest little thing kelly goes what in the world i go yeah well, i'll put it on the truck or the bronco or something <laughs> it's kind of cute and day before yesterday the tv in our bedroom conked out you guys remember right after we got the uh the ridge line in in 17 i don't know it was like the next month or so um, the, t the TV we had, we had a, a voltage, a uh, power outage, and man, I, I didn't have, it was just plugged into the wall. There's no surge protector, nothing that zapped that TV. And this one TV that's um, in the living room, we've had that TV, it was our very first flat screen TV ever. And that thing, it's a Vizio, and that thing is still just rocking right along. I come at the one in the bedroom. Sound and everything comes out of it. I, I was literally, uh, I was looking at the info. I was looking at how you can look at people. 
see when they were born, that kind of thing. So looking at that, and it's you know went back and just exited out, went back and and uh, I was just goofing around. I was sitting there on the computer, and all of a sudden, boom! I see black off off to my left where the TV's at. You know, it's set up so we can see it from the bed and stuff. And um, yeah, I'm like, what the heck? I still hear sound and everything. So I thought, well, maybe I did something when I was going through the menus. It's dead. No screen. It is just black. Doesn't pull up anything. If I power it down, let it set for an hour, it'll come on for a few seconds. I go, oh, there it goes. It's back. Boom. It just blacks out. I get another dadgum TV. The way things are nowadays, that thing's probably going to be three or four times the price. I kind of went... For the bedroom, I kind of went a little big, so I think I might go with a smaller television. It's, uh, yeah, I had to get a upgrade the hanger and everything. That, it's, that's a huge TV. It's really nice when you're laying there in bed, you know, it's like you're sitting in a movie theater. But, um, I have to get a TV. Last couple nights, I just, uh, stream direct TV through the, through the iPad, and <laughs> that's what Kelly and I go to bed to. We're goofy. We like a TV or something to be in the background. And we like to go to like old channels like METV, um, FETV, Sundance. They'll play old stuff. Or, you know, run off the DVR. I got like 44 episodes of Columbo. I don't know why that's kind of one of those, uh, um, what do you call them? Kind of a, I don't know, just makes you feel good. Those old Columbos, I don't ever watch them half the time. I wake up in the middle of like that one night when I couldn't sleep. Good Lord. Man, the last time that happened to me was the night before Ryan's wedding. When we were in California, there in Yosemite. And, uh, yeah, I did the same thing. About an hour and a half. And I had to drive all the way up that mountain. Racing one of his friends in a, in a little, this little Chevy. He was hauling, man. Tires were squalling because we thought we were going to be late. As it was, I think we were one of some of the first people there. But we had the groom. We had our son. But uh, anyway, that's the last time I had a night like that. I usually don't have any problem sleeping. I don't get enough sleep because I stay up doing stuff. But anyway, let's get the dry, or as they call it, the guardian shaft. <laughs> BMW and their crazy names for things. All right, let's get her done. Would you just quit talking to me? I got to get work done. <laughs> I know this is really silly and I have literally no use for it but it was cheap and it was so cool it's a trailer hitch receiver so you think okay it's going to drag everything flip it so they must figure you'll probably flip it because it's the nut's not tight it's just, just tight enough that it's grabbing the nylon so that'll both the Bronco and the Sport, the truck, has the uh, socket for the receiver. But let me show you something here. That is a BMW tool. You know what that does? That pulls the drive shaft off the bevel gear if it gets stuck on there. And we've had two that got stuck, and the whole bevel gear got replaced. And it's like, I don't know, $2,000, $2,500, or maybe it's $3,500. So they came up with a stool to attempt to pull it off before they replace it. So here's the drive shaft. This is the front side. goes to the engine. This is the back side. This is the side that could be problems. Well, this beautiful not ridden off road there's no way this thing failed the test three times uh yeah it failed three times i think somebody has themselves a nice pressure washer at home it is so rusted up and even though the water didn't come out of that's one of the things you look for is water coming out of the hole i knocked it out drying it out but i can pop it back in um, when it tilted down, as I'm getting this out, it filled my hand up with water. This whole area, which if you were riding along, it's just going to splash and come out completely full of water. So that rear universal 
she was just a swimming in rust water. So first step, you wonder why I got a new boot? There's a wire in the rubber of that thing. First step, because of the tool, you gotta get the boot off to put the tool on. Well, you gotta have the drive shaft off to get the boot off. So one of the early steps is to reach in there with a pair, a pair of wire cutters and there's a cut that wire and pry and dig all that stuff out of there that you can. So if this happens and we have to use the tool, it needs a new boot. So I was panicking when I seen the boot. Wasn't expecting it to be seized. The bulletin's been updated. It includes all the instructions for using the tool, which is in that, comes in that box there. And uh, yeah, I see the boot needs cut. So I panicked and ran upstairs and uh, my little trailer hitch receiver showed up. So I was all giddy. <laughs> so cute yeah if i didn't if we didn't have that boot um i'd have to put this thing together enough that i could roll it off because i'd be without a bench although that might not be the worst thing in the world this time of year but anyway and it took adam and i to get this thing off it was stuck this is just getting it off from the shaft up front which is not rusted, but it just had enough corrosion on it that it was holding the front of it. But if you look in here, it's, we don't know why it was holding. It's the only way they showed to just, you know, tape everything up and reach in and tape everything up and reach in and pry it with a screwdriver. Yeah, I had to reach in with a small brass punch and hit the side of this thing. He's pulling, he's got the whole thing in his hand there and he goes i feel it moving keep hitting it ding 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 phone comes off but send him across the floor that is not a light body part <laughs> yeah that thing's crazy heavy it's yeah you just can't pick it up one-handed but anyway so there's my excitement for the day this is you ever wonder what's inside your your hollow swing arm on your bmw that big gaping hole. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, we darn. BMW and their tools. It just latches onto it. Press it through. Yeah, it looks pretty nasty in there, doesn't it? Yeah. I feel like I'm doing front sprockets on spiders. It'll take some, take some cleanup. There she is. No damage done. Use some of this worth rust off stuff. It works pretty good. Seems it doesn't seem any better or worse than the uh, uh, PB blaster. That's pretty cool though, huh? We were literally, literally replacing these because there was no way. But we had, you know, I cut that boot out, like they said. And then the tool wasn't going far enough with the uh, little plastic thing that pops in on the front side. So we, with a couple of wire cutters, reached in there and got all that out. And then the tool fit correctly. Man, what a mess. I bet you they don't pay me one dime more for doing that. This is three tenths for replacing the drive shaft on this. Three tenths. Is that crazy or what? <laughs> got half my toes out. <laughs> but I got a nice new shiny drive shaft put back on. And yeah, cool. Took two people twice to do this I'm trying to hold all this together to get this whole tool in there that was kind of tricky but you know once you do it a couple of times you get it all sorted out that thing's been sitting somewhere it was not rusted like that before but it was upstairs in a back room that's not 
temperature controlled and all that kind of stuff. So that kind of stuff happens, I guess. Just throw it back there in the old tool room. Let her rust up. And it, well, the funny thing is it was full of these little packets of that. And maybe it's just, yeah, it's just paper. Of course, it's in German. I don't know if that, yeah, CO2. So it's got to be an absorbing thing. Of course, the box was open like this, so <laughs> it wasn't, a, and everything, you could look down and see the tools. And that was the one piece that was sticking out more than anything else. It's just raw metal. It's just a special tool. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's not like you got to snap on a Cornwell tool in there. All righty. When your day doesn't go as expected. <laughs> That's just a normal thing in the motorcycle world, it seems. I think you can do a simple drive shaft replacement. It takes two guys and a bunch of special tools. At least they sent us that tool. All 800 and something dollars of it. <laughs> well, well, hello there, YouTube. So, get in there and unmount the, the old TV from the wall. It's got the swiveling, tilting, whiz-bangy. It can take a 60-pound television. Television weighs 20 pounds. So, they didn't... Shows they have it. I mean, kids. It's amazing. This kid was not going to help me. And there's nobody. There's no managers. There's nobody to help you. This kid's not going to look for this TV. It shows they have them. So anyway, I decided spent another 48 bucks. Went from a 50 to a 55. So get home, get the old one off, get all ready. There's a cobweb or two up there we had to clean off. Mom was in there cleaning as I'm sorting stuff around. Amazing stuff. You never look behind the TV. I know. <laughs> Maybe we should. Yeah. But, um... Anyway, go to hook it up. Mount's different. Of course. Yeah. Much wider on the 55, and it weighs just literally ounces more than the other TV. I know. So now we've got to swing by Walmart's and grab another TV mount. That's so dumb. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. I'm busy with that. I didn't even check my little trailer hitch. I receiver know thing it. to see if it goes in. It's what? really cute. I know. I think I sh I did show you. Yeah, I showed it. I, I think I did. I think I did. <laughs> so busy with that BMW. But anyway, that's been our night. Yep. And on that, we're gonna call it a night. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Yeah, thanks for the amazing yes, amount of happy just, anniversary. Yes, I was going to say that, but you beat oh, me. Oh, I'm sorry. See, he did yeah. it again. Kelly's in there doing all the Facebook stuff. Man, I got a lot of those to get to myself on Y'all this year's channel. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are awesome. <clears throat> it's very, very nice to see all of those. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Well, it's fam family. Yeah. Almost said a bad word. Yeah. I got a little way of saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be good. Yeah. So. But anyway. Yeah, it's cute, but it wouldn't be good. Yeah. We'll see you guys bright and early on Friday morning. See you in the morning. All right. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye.